So some of you may recognize that as being part of Red Barchetta by Rush, and it uses a technique called harmonics. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's Two Minute Tips. <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I post new content. So in this two minute tip, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the tricks associated with harmonics, what they are and the different types. Essentially, there are three different types of harmonics, or at least three. The first is the natural harmonic, and that's what I was doing at the beginning of the video. <laughs> The second is called a tap harmonic, and that's where I'm playing a note and then get a harmonic above the note that I'm playing. The last is the pinch harmonic, and if you've ever listened to any ZZ Top, uh, you've heard the pinch harmonic. <laughs> What's going on with the harmonic? Well, when you strike a note on the guitar, essentially it's vibrating between the saddle and the nut, and the whole string is vibrating along the whole length of the string. When you do a harmonic, what's happened is you've got the string vibrating in two separate spots, but in one position, it's not vibrating. Almost like if you've ever played with a slinky, where you can you know, get these waves going, but it still sit, sits still in the middle. That's essentially what's happening here. So if I'm playing an E on the, the high E, and I just lightly touch the string at the fret, I can produce a harmonic. That's typically the easiest ones to do, is starting at the 12th fret. And essentially what will happen is, the string actually won't be vibrating much right there. Most of the energy will be vibrating along these sections. Now, as I go up in pitch, I can go half that distance again. So the 12th fret again is halfway between the nut and the bridge. If I go half of that distance again, I'm above the 5th fret. So there I have an E. I have an E an octave up. And then an E two octaves up. A few tips. You always want to very lightly touch the string, and you have to do it directly above the fret, not behind the fret like you would typically fret a note. You actually have to do this on top of the fret. Secondly, having a lot of gain helps. Because when you have a distorted sound like that, a lot of those overtones or harmonics are naturally being produced. So even though when I play a note, you hear that fundamental G, if we were to look at this in a waveform uh, analyzer, you would actually see some of those higher pitches or higher harmonics of the G kind of embedded in it. That's what gives this particular timbre to an instrument. That's why a flute sounds the way it does and a saxophone sounds the way it does and a guitar sounds the way it does. It's the harmonics and overtones that are produced by the instrument. The second type is fundamentally the same, but there's a, there's a key twist, and that is the tap harmonic. With a standard harmonic, I'm just using my finger to kind of stop motion on the string. Here, to produce those harmonics with a tap, I'll be playing a note and then what I want to do is go an octave up, or 12 frets up, from the note that I'm playing. And I'm actually going to hit the string with my finger on top of the fret. And what it will do is cause the string to vibrate almost as if I had done the same type of technique by lightly touching. So, if I'm playing, in this instance, I'm playing a, a D. And I come up here to the 19th fret and I strike on top, I should get an octave note above, just like if I were playing here, but I'm producing it by striking the note. What's beneficial about this type is that 
I'm kind of limited into the pitches that I can get by playing the standard harmonics. I can do, you know, the, the 12th fret, the 7th fret, the 9th to some degree, the 5th fret, but I'm only getting certain pitches. And let's say I wanted to play um, maybe a D flat or a C sharp. Well, there's not really a spot I can do that quite well, so I can do it with the harmonic tap harmonic. And I can also tap out chords. So if I'm playing an A chord, I can strike the three strings, in this case the D, G, and B strings, exactly 12 frets up. Now, for the pinch harmonics, I'm going to switch guitars to my, uh, my Epiphone because it's just a little bit easier, so let's do that. Okay, so the reason I switched is because this one has a slightly different scale length and because it's got the, you know, the humbuckers and everything, there's just, it's an easier thing to do the pinch harmonics on. So with a pinch harmonic, essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking the guitar pick and I'm really choking up on it. I've got just the tip of the pick showing, and I've got my thumb right next to it. And so what happens is, when I pick, the fleshy part of my thumb here is actually going to touch the string at that point that I'm trying to get a harmonic out of. And this one takes some practice because you kind of have to get a feel for where along the string up here you can actually hit and get that note. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm changing where I'm picking at. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to use an A minor pentatonic. Okay, now I'm going to try to use that fleshy part of my thumb. Now I'm going to play the same note, this is just an A on the D string. You can tell based on where I'm kind of doing this, I'm getting those different pitches. So the trick is kind of to play around with it until you kind of get a feel for where the certain notes are going to ring the best. And it really depends on what key you're in, and the guitar can make a little bit of a difference as well. Uh, using the bridge pickup is going to be the easiest to get those tones, because here I'll switch to the neck pickup. They don't stand out quite as well. You kind of hear them better on that bridge pickup. So when you hear Billy Gibbons do LaGrange, and he's doing all those... He's using that technique and he knows where to actually pick the string to get those notes. So that's been the harmonic two-minute tip. And again, until next time, keep practicing.